Okay, this is a walkthrough of Edexcel Physics A2, uh, Unit 4, Physics on the Move from June 2013, and we are going to be doing the multiple choice questions. Question 1. The nucleus of one of the isotopes of nickel is represented by 6028Ni. Which line correctly identifies a neutral atom of this isotope? Right, so um, the 28 tells us that there are 28 protons. The 60 tells us the total number of nucleons. So there are 60 minus 28, which is obviously 32 neutrons. So we're looking for something that has 28 protons, 32 neutrons. So we can rule out all of this. And uh, for a neutral atom, we have to have the same number of electrons as protons, so we can rule out this. And that means it must be this one. Question 2. A charged non-magnetic particle is moving in a magnetic field. Which of the following would not affect the magnetic force acting on the particle. Magnitude of the charge okay so it would affect it. The strength of the magnetic field, remember that F here on a moving charge is B Q B so the magnitude of the charge is Q strength of the magnetic field is B velocity component parallel to the field okay so um, it has to be crossing the field perpendicularly parallel to the field won't do anything so it's this one question three two parallel conducting plates are connected to a battery one plate is connected to the positive terminal and the other plate to the negative terminal the plate separation is D and it's gradually increased while the plates stay connected to the battery. Select the graph that shows how the electric field strength varies. So the electric field between plates is uh, related to this voltage and this distance and the E field is V over D. So E is proportional to 1 over D. So we're looking for a graph of reciprocal. Obviously as D goes up, E is going to go down. So uh, the only value, even if you didn't recognize it as a reciprocal, the only value where E is coming down as D goes up is this one. So that is our answer. Question 6. A muon has a mass of 106 MeV over C squared. The mass of a muon is to two significant figures then is one of these values. So it should be possible for us to figure out um, using that energy and dividing by c squared how many kilograms that corresponds to. So this is the whole um, E equals mc squared stuff. So we're talking here 106 times 10 to the 6 And then we're going to multiply that by the electron charge. And we're going to divide all that by c squared. And c squared is like um, 3 times 10 to the 8. And then squared. So we need to evaluate this. 106 times 10 to the 6 times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 divided by 3 times 10 to the 8 and then that gets squared and so for that I'm getting 
8, 8 times 10 to the minus 28. And so that's that one. Okay, question 7. The diagram shows the tracks from an event at a point P in a bubble chamber. A magnetic field is directed into the page. So that means our field is like that, away from us. The tracks cannot show the production of a proton-antiproton pair with equal kinetic energies because of one of these facts. Now, it took me a while thinking about this before I realized what they were actually asking. At first I thought it was some kind of experimental thing about what the tracks in a bubble chamber cannot show, but what it is is the this this event, we're saying this event can't be the production of a proton, antiproton pair with equal kinetic energy. Um, so it, sometimes particle track questions ask you about uh, what can and cannot be shown. But this is, this is all to do with this can't be a picture of a proton, antiproton pair with equal kinetic energies. And then which are the reason? And the reason is if they had equal kinetic energies, they have equal mass, and if they had equal kinetic energies, they would also have equal velocity. And if they had equal velocity, they would have equal momentum. And if that was the case, they would have identical curvatures. So this isn't showing that, because these don't have identical curvatures. Okay. Question 8. A racing car of mass 1,200 kilograms travels at 0.63 radians per second around a band of radius 50 meters. The force on the car necessary for this motion is one of these values. So we need to do a circular motion uh, calculation based on what we've been told there. So we have um, a circular motion equation that says that F equals um, V squared over R. Or another way of looking at that is that F equals M r omega squared. Since we have an omega we should really be working with that one. So we've got 1200 times 50 times 0.63 squared. We just fill that in and I'm getting for that 2, 3, 8, 1 newtons. Okay, so 2, 3, 8, 1 newtons. Uh, it's one of the top two, and then we have to recognize that um, centripetal force is always directed towards the center of the circle, and that makes it this one. Question 9. A cyclotron is a type of particle accelerator. It consists of two metal Ds, which are connected to a high-frequency voltage supply and are in a strong magnetic field. The particles change their speed because... So it's important to recognize that the acceleration of these particles which causes them to change their speed happens between the Ds. So their circular motion is related to the magnetic field, so it's not that. The voltage supply is alternating, it's not that. There is a PD between the Ds a magnetic field is at right angles to the D, so that, that's not the reason. So this is the reason. Question 10. The de Broglie wavelength for neutrons uh, used to study crystal structure is 1.2 nanometers. The speed of these neutrons would be one of these values, so we need to do a velocity calculation based on de Broglie wavelength equation. So remember that um, the de Broglie wavelength is equal to h over p, which would be h over m v. So we need to get a v equals equation. So v would be h over m lambda. We need to fill that in. So we've got 6.6 .6 times 10 to the minus. 34, and we're dividing that by the 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 mass. Uh, 
multiplied by the lambda of 1.2 times 10 to the minus 9. So if we calculate that. Okay, and for that I'm getting the V to be 329 meters per second. And that is that one. And that's it.